New at noon, a new law signed by President Joe Biden is bringing hope to domestic abuse survivor programs. The Victims of Crime Act aims to redirect billions in funding to help services across the nation provide better resources for victims of violence. And Sparaco shows us how this one change will make a big impact for Hampton Roads programs. Sanu Jang says there's just something about helping other people. Um, I started out as a volunteer. Executive Director of Transitions Family Violence Services says she found her true passion of helping when she came across the stories of survival among women and families in Hampton Roads. How are you? Including her personal story with the program. This organization has helped me just process and understand my own personal experience with domestic violence. She says the effort of supporting others took a whole new level of strength this past year. We've utilized all resources, um, hotels. We've been, you know, busting at the seams in our emergency shelter, trying to also be mindful of COVID-19 and social distancing. Programs like Transitions Family Violence Services saw a drastic decrease in grants over the past few years with cuts up to 70%. Now, with the new law recently signed by President Biden to redirect funding to the Victims Crime Fund, they will finally see more of the support circle back. So we were ecstatic. And so we're talking about our housing program. We're talking about our 24 hour crisis hotline to be fully staffed. We'll have the funding to be able to assist survivors for much longer than we could before. Jang says this new legislation will help the program and all of their survivors build up the strength to break down those barriers and lead a better life. In Hampton and Sparaco for 13 News Now.